Seven months of mold, dirty water, and leaks. That's what one woman says she had to deal with at her town home here in Mobile. Well, she says management at her complex has not fixed the issues despite visiting, visiting her home a number of times. NBC 15's Emily Pounds got a first-hand look at the issue today. Emily, this mother says after everything she's had to deal with, she's at a loss for words. That's right, Kim and Greg. To add on top of the horrible living conditions, her family is now being forced to move out by Thursday. Plumbing, air conditioner units, um, holes in the ceiling, mold around the tub, dirty water. The woman did not want to be identified, but lives in Midtown Oaks townhomes on Dolphinwood Drive. She said she asked for help fixing the visible mold in her home and the brown water she and her children are forced to bathe in multiple times, but says management is a nightmare. All we get back is you need to pay something, you need to pay something, and it's not a matter of us not wanting to pay. She said she reported the problem to management, but says they now claim they never received a work order. Now she says they're kicking her out. We've contacted the front office. We've contacted the regional office, which they said that they would get back to us, but no one's gotten back yet. And then also to have an eviction notice given to you over something that you can't control. It's not a matter of us not wanting to pay rent. It's just a matter of us wanting to live in safe conditions. So by us doing that, we're thinking, hey, they'll come in and they'll fix things. Well, that was an absolute no. She says they only came once to repair the tub that can't drain and spews out brown water. The water upstairs, it's brown. The tub, it doesn't drain. It takes hours and hours for it to drain. You literally can take one shower a day as well as in the toilet. The water's brown. So if that water's brown, of course, the rest of the water in the house that's running, it's brown as well. She says the water eventually drips down through the ceiling lights onto their food. They came in and they cut a, cut two holes in the ceiling above the stove. They poured lye upstairs in the drain, which has dripped down into our food. And of course, you can't eat it. So now we have to go and we have to spend more money. You can also see how the complex maintains their gym, laundry room, and their pool. Green water fills to the brim. The woman's sister also wished to remain anonymous. She says she's scared for the health of her family. To have kids in here with asthma, um, eating food and getting thrush because of the things that are falling into the food. I feel like with all that stuff going on, there's no way you should hit someone with an eviction. We tried calling the management office for comment, but it was after hours. We hope to hear back from them tomorrow.